So we're reading Fast Break on page 13. Here we go. Fast Break by Ed Hirsch. Everybody ready? I'll hook stuff. And for once, our dangling starting center on uh -uh, home table boxes out his hands. Captain the orange leather from Sarah. Super fun point to read. So we're gonna mark this bad boy up. We already said we number our stances one through seventeen. We already know this is written in couplets right there. So the next thing we're gonna look for, y'all, we have multiple assemblies. Anybody know what a assembly is? Comparison using like or as. Good job, London. What I want you to do right now is uh, scan this poem. You're looking for four assemblies. Scan. Y'all have to read it word for word. Just look for like or as. And when you find the one, raise your hand. Tell me what stands at Will Hicks. Yeah, stands at number three right there. Good job. Gathering the orange leather from the air like a chair possession. Kind of like, you know, Caleb gets a rebound. He's not going to go. He's going to go. Mine, mine, it's mine. He's holding on to it for dear life. What you got, Sheila? Yeah, what, uh, uh, yeah, down here, stands at 10. Moving together as brothers passing the ball. Because when you think about team, you don't want just the team. You want chemistry there. You want them to feel involved and invested. What you got, Taylor? But the game he loved like a country. That's the end of number 16. Good job. There's one more. Anybody see it? No, there's four. And uh, like a, uh, what you got, one? Oh. Good job. So we got one, two, three, four. We got four similes, okay? We go with that? That's easy, right? Hey. We have personification of Boogie Woogie Woo, and there's one example of personification. One, only one. Anybody see it? Yes, because when uh, when um, Taylor shoots a, a shot during the game, the ball doesn't stop mid and go, Oh, Liam, I love you. Give me some sugar. It does not do that. That's just an a, a, a example of personification, right? Now, if your ball does stop the video like that, you may mentally not be right. You may be seeing things, okay? You may be seeing things. <laughs> so just remember that. London's going to come home from the game. He's like, Dad, I need to go to a therapist. I'm seeing things again. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then we're going to look for a hyperbole. We got two hyperboles. What do hyperboles do, y'all? They exaggerate, they make our story sound better. So like, you know, like, Kayla, how many shots did you miss on Friday night? A lot, so like, give me a number though. 20, okay, yeah, 20 minutes shots. Oh my God, London, did you see the game on Friday? Kayla missed like 85 shots. You know, 20 doesn't sound that bad. 85 sounds what? Terrible. Terrible, okay? Like, Madison goes to play volleyball and she like makes like, two errors in the game, that's not the end of the world, right? 
I mean, because I have to make an error with all like, oh my gosh, At, we lost that game because of Aston. She made like 85 errors during the game. I mean, that that's very bad because there may not be 85 plays in the game. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's a hyperbole. So we got two hyperboles here. We're looking for exaggerated statements. I'll give you a hint. They're all on this side, on the left side of the paper. Okay. Looking for hyperboles. I'll give you a hint. There's one in stanza four. There's one in stanza six. What you got, Lumber? He looks stunned and nailed to the floor. Why are they not nailed to the floor? I mean, it's like when Lumber is going to do something, he doesn't need to know what that looks like. With a hammer, he doesn't have that hammer. When she gets near the person, she's like, I'm open, I'm open. You know, she doesn't, she can't do that because. Okay. All right. So first, what we have is near the floor. You're not actually near the floor. You can say Will was stunned, and the guy ran around him like he's nailed to the floor. But he's not actually nailed to the floor. So that's one. Good job, Lonnie. Where's the other one, y'all? Four. four. Where is it in four? Shovel. Now I think about you know shoveling snow. If Caleb shoveling snow during a game, he may be doing something wrong. Maybe. Unless he's like home alone and he's got the shovel and he's whacking people. You know, like, like the old man does in home alone where he whacks the burglars and the head of the shovel. Unless he's doing something like that, he may be doing something wrong. Okay, so two hyperboles right there. Okay, that makes sense? Five. Well, scissoring that it can be used as a verb. So scissoring means you can wait. Like, like zigzagging across the floor. Okay, but you're taking as like scissors with like scissors though. Okay, hang on, let's read the again. Renown pass for the other guard, scissoring pass is flat for the defender. The scissoring just means to move rapidly, but if you don't know enough about basketball, you can take it that way. So we're gonna give it to you. Give it to you okay. Scissoring pass. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll count it. Ah, what does that mean? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. Everybody go with that? Real quick, we'll just do imagery because imagery should be what? Either E. Yeah, no, right, imagery. Real quick, scan it. Um, I'm going to come after Josiah first. I'm going to come after S in second. I'm going to come after Hunter third. Okay. Real quick, look for imagery. Yep. Josiah, whenever you find one, you just tell us what stands up. Oh, John. Besides, I found one. All right, we'll come back to Madison. What you got, boo? Okay, there we go. High blood rule. There we go. Boom. Seven. That was easy. What you got, Hunter? Okay, so uh, so we're at Santa Warren's World, that stands at 17. Boom. I like floating perfectly through the net. That's my favorite. Just, what you got, Josiah? Oh, all right. It's kind of like when they go for the land and they're going so fast and they hit it, they just like their body just kind of falls out and everything. That's good. I love it. And so, and so far, and before the water had long motion. There we go. Oh, what you got, uh, Mr. Uh, Nell? Anything, literally anything. Imagery. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, we already got that. We'll come back to you in one second. One of them, what you got? Uh, what, uh, what's the answer? 
Okay, right here. An underhand pass. Yes. There you go. What you got now? Without a bounce hitting the hardwood, what wouldn't have? Okay, right here. Um, right here, number 11. Without a dribble. Good job. That's not so hard, is it? Anybody else got any other ones they like? What you got, little Hicks? What number? Oh, nine. Racing down the court. There you go. Fantastic. Imagery is easy to find, y'all. Imagery is easy to find. We're going to read it one more time. Hang on. You people at home, that was fast break. We're going to read it one more time because it's fun to read. Okay. In fact, they can listen to it. In fact, let them hear what we're actually going to I see what we're going to do. We're going to turn this. But we're not going to do that because someone will be like, I don't want to be on your mini out. <laughs> Or probably will it is. I don't want to mean this because that's what it sounds like, right? Yeah. yeah totally doesn't sound like that. Y'all do me a favor. Rise up. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that was Fast Break Bad Hurts, one of the greatest poems of all time. Hopefully, if you don't like it, there's something wrong with you. That's all I'm going to say. And that's that. So, peace out.